Hello world and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Fallout 4 Semi-Blind. My name is Kelthos and in the last episode we spent most of, the, well, all the episode clearing out the outside of and going into this university place that we needed to clear out for the Institute. And we've found out about some things that happened before the war and some things that, or I guess it was after the war, but before we got here. And we were in the process of looting this place out, and then we got down to this flooded area and ran into some mire lurks because there were synths up above. But mire mire lurks are down here. So in this episode, we're going to continue on through this place and see if we can get through it all and continue on from there. So here we go. Sorry, Nick. Security gate. Unlock. Come on. Had it. There. Got it. They should have bought a better lock, huh? Yeah, that is true. Barnacles. Another door that's locked. A locked door behind a locked door. Ching. Nice. Our latest round of our Nick sealant still working. <laughs> our Nick sealant still working. I don't know. Are they? Sorry if you heard that barking. For some reason, my dog is barking. She barks quite a lot, though. Dean's terminal. Is this the dean of the college's terminal? University mail relay. About Professor Campbell. You said to contact you if I saw Professor Campbell doing anything strange. Well, he's been going to the student credit union almost most evenings, which, me, which seems a little weird. I also saw him and Leslie Matthews going over there on Saturday on my way to basketball practice. Isn't she one of his grad students? Oh, and Sandra said he had been asking at student records to find out Leslie's birthday. What's up with that? So could we meet to talk about that academic pro probation now? Henry Mitchell. Is that a student? Yeah, it's having students spy on the on the teachers maybe? Uh, can't reach the con the the colonel. Dean Patterson. I'm sorry, sir, but I wasn't able to get Colonel Rosemont on the phone for you. They kept they kept they kept redirecting my calls for hours, and when I finally reached him and asked to put you on, he just said that he would save you both the time and confirm that you don't have clearance and hung up the phone. I tried to call back, but they said that he's not taking any more calls right now, and that if you want to speak with him, you'll need to drive out to the base. Doris, Doris Parker, right? Yeah, Parker. Uh, you don't have clearance. Sorry, Alan, but the deal is done. As legal as... What? As legal has probably told you by now, the military tends to get a bit upset if you try to wiggle out of a contract for them. And no, I can't tell you where the lab is or what my research is about because you don't have the clearance. You'll need to take that up with Colonel Rosemont. Why are you making this personal? The university is making a bunch of money on this, and the research may be declassified eventually, in which case it would make you even more. Professor S. Campbell. Construction under admin. De Dean Patterson, do you know what exactly the Army is constructing under the admin building? They are making an awful lot of noise with those jackhammers. They told me I had to go through Professor Campbell for inquiries, but he said it was classified. I asked if you had authorized this, and he said to check his contract. 
well, legal did and said that it's kind of a gray area that his lawyer added during negotiations. They also said that they tried to bring it up to you at the time, but that you went ahead and signed it anyway. I hope that grant money is worth all the hassle, all this hassle. Teresa Robinson, Human Resources. Nobody likes what's going on, I guess. About my research. Alan, I'm under no illusions that the real reason you wanted to bring me on as the head of the department was for my business contacts from the private sector. Just accept the grant money and let me do my research. I'm sure you'll skim some off for, for a new scoreboard or something equally useless. Oh, and I'm certain that... And I'm certain when you get back from your vacation and read this, you'll check my negotiate. What? You'll check my contract and find out that I do have the authority to negotiate and accept grants for my department. Enjoy Maui, Professor S. Campbell. Safe controls. Disengage lock. Thank you. I will take all that. Okay. I'll take those too. I guess that's all that's in here. Okay, what's over here then? Is that another exit? It is indeed. here. Take. Enter. Take. Take. Uh, I don't need any of that. What's that? A coffee cup. Oh. Gerald's terminal. Gerald's barricade key. Interesting. Gerald's terminal. Bone. No. Hmm. Uh, games? One. Is it the A? about that. Wrath. Nope. Dang. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Hands? Yes. Okay. User logs. I don't know what to do. Josephine, I don't know what to do. Our daughter found something in the runes. Some sort of data. Uh, a man came to town and said he was from the Institute. He threatened the mayor and the town is in an uproar. We don't know if this guy is real or not, but he seems dangerous and the rumors around the town are almost worse. Someone accused Jacqueline of being a synth. People she's grown up with her whole life and now they want to give her to this man or throw her out of town or worse. I understand why they're doing that, but it kind of is weird how quickly they can just be against her. She actually did it. You would be so proud, Jack, and that's what she likes to go by now. Well, she found your old notes about the mail relay and begged me for weeks to take her into the flooded area when I went to hunt lurks so she could try and find the parts she needed. Well, she must have found what you had been looking for because she actually got this mail relay thing working. We can send each other letters across town. Not sure why we wouldn't just walk over and talk to the person, but it's certainly more than I was doing at, four, at 14. Josephine. Josephine, it's been three years since you died, and I still 
think about you every single day. I wish you could see how much Jacqueline has grown. Last week was her sixth birthday, and I gave her your old toolbox like you, like you had always planned. The next day, I found that she had disassembled half the stuff in the store. She looks so much like you now. I miss you so much. Oh, that's sad. Must be his wife or girlfriend or something. Probably his wife. University mail relay. Keep Jacqueline inside. Gerald, I'm not saying this as the mayor, but as your friend. I don't know if the visitor was from the institute or not, but I know that I know what a dangerous man looks like, and I don't want to call his bluff. Our people are scared and looking for someone to blame. It does seem like Jacqueline was the seed of this mess, so keep her out of sight till we get this sorted out. If your daughter does have that data, we should have it ready to turn over if need be. Bert. What has your daughter done? Gerald, how many times have I told you that that daughter of yours will be the end of you? I've told you a thousand times. No good has ever come from messing, from messing with pre-war gobbledygook what if she were my daughter i would have beaten some sense into her years ago jesus i'm almost glad josephine isn't alive to see what a wreck your family has become shame on you gerald spencer if my boys come to harm from this i will beat you to death myself martha cole someone needs to beat you to death jesus calm down get out while you can Gerald, you know I love Jacqueline like she was my own granddaughter. It breaks my heart to say this, but I think the two of you should leave town. Just run for it. Leave the Commonwealth. You're still young enough to start over, and Jack is as smart as can be. I still hear more than people think, and I'm not hearing anything good. Even if this visitor is an imposter. I feel our own neighbors may turn on you first. Sylvia. Wow. Now, where was I going? This way? No. This way. That. Regular new cola. Wonder glue. Ooh, a toolbox. Come on, damn it. Cha ching. Sweet. Take. Take. Here. Is this place cleared now? No, because the thing would have told me. Request. Oh, lost a fusion core. It's okay, I have like a lot of them. By a lot, I mean 24. Okay, now where do I go? Over here? Down here? I think so. go this way? I think I may have... Maybe not in here. The detective's life isn't an easy one. Rarely lacks for excitement. Oh, I missed the safe if I wasn't here before. Come on. There. Yes! Takey, takey. I don't need that. But... Take all of that. Thank you. I'll take these Meyerwerk eggs. Okay. Now... Did I go this way? Probably. 
I don't know where else I'm supposed to be going. How about these? Die! Bothering anybody now. That's true. Okay. What about up here? Open these doors. What is Oh, it's a little baby one. Crap, another glowing one. No, just the head. There we go. Gosh dang it. Get away from me. Come on. Uh, you're almost dead. Whoa, something else just popped out. No, it's just a little bit. Come on. There. Really? You little shithead? There. Now. Now we can go onward, I think. Oh, another locked door. What goodies lie behind the door? That's it. For some reason, that reminded me of a random line from Kingdom Hearts at the very beginning, and they're like, "You do not yet know what lies beyond the door." Okay, that just led around to the dean's office. So what's up here? That's it. Boom, 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 boom. Critical strike, yay. There, take that. Come on. You're supposed to be an assaulter, not a frickin' shooter. Ah! Die, 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 die. You're almost dead. There. Thank you, Nick. Cake, cake. Burnt Lifestyle Magazine. No, thank you. Unlock this. Cha-ching. Nice. Take. Take. And take. Watching a conductor at the orchestra. <laughs> When was the last time someone came through here? Recently, it looks like. Unless you mean humans, then I don't know. The coffee huts. Don't need anything from here. It says that this is an exit. This is not an exit. Lies. Lies. Oh, there's more out there. Uh, how do we go around here and get up there? Hmm. Confusing. 
Oh, there's the timer. But I need to know where to go for next time. can't go anywhere from there, so it has to be over here, unless I can just go around like this. Wait, what's, did the data point change and I missed it? No. Hmm. Okay, this is where I would have jumped down from before when I said I wasn't going to yet. Okay, we gotta go up here then, right? Yes. Ah! Dang it. Okay. Across here. They're still up more. How do we go up more? I think I found out where to go. You just go back into that double door room that I was at. That's right next to the Dean's office. And then you climb up these stairs and you go up here. So yeah, in the next episode, we will continue looting and clearing this place. And hopefully we'll be done with it. And then we can move on. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. And if you like what you see, I suggest you subscribe to my channel so you can see the new videos I post every single day. And if you really like the videos, I'd really like it if you could leave a thumbs up and a comment. That way I could have some interaction on my channel and know that people are actually watching and actually care. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.